this summer we've been doing the second summer of the Terrestrial Biodiversity SOE Monitoring Program. We've had our team of four out and about visiting uh, all sorts of habitat types. We've been driving, walking, flying to sites all over the region, They're surveying the vegetation types, animal pest numbers and bird species distribution. The sites are located according to a nationwide 8km by 8km grid that's used by the MFE and DOC. Most of our sites are actually on pastoral farmland but we've also got a few sites in plantation forestry and native forest and scrub and pretty much everything in between. So the overall objective of this work is to understand the state of the environment, basically to understand what's there and how it changes over time. We're measuring the trees, settlings and uh, all the other characteristics of the plot. We look at a 20 metre square plot which is divided into 16 5 metre squares. On each 5 metre square we will look at the uh, DBH and sapling numbers. So that's pretty good Yong. Yep. Is that five meters? Yeah. Oh, we're measuring the DBH of the trees to uh, work out how much they grow in a period of time. 2.7. At each transect of the five meter square, there'll be a seedling plot. Uh, within that diameter, we, we record every um, species found within there. So we just identify and measure all the settings in the plot. And, uh, and in five years' time, we come back to recheck the plot and to see the change and the dynamic of the settling plot. We'll record uh, the presence of everything below 15 centimetres, above 15 centimetres, uh, their different heights. We also do an overall record of all species found within that 20 metre plot. For the animal pest work, we put out wax tags and chew cards. Uh, these are monitoring devices that animals chew on, giving us an idea of the animals present. And we also count fecal pellets on transects running uh, off the corners of the vegetation plot to give us uh, another indicator of animal pest numbers. Over the next few years we aim to set up 77 permanent monitoring sites throughout the region. Uh, that's about 15 to 16 sites a year and then sites are going to be re-measured every five years. Overall the aim is to establish how healthy our terrestrial ecosystems are and how ecosystem health is changing over time. Ultimately this information is going to give us an understanding of ecological integrity which is a key indicator of ecological health. <laughs>